Here I am. Good morning. Welcome to another week. Welcome to our last week in Mark's Gospel. We have done it. We're doing such a great job. It is great to see you. Uh, it is great to be with you again. Now, thank you for sending me your photos. Your photos are amazing, and I'm delighted that some of these people I've not seen before, and some of them are old friends who have not sent me photos before. Here we have Joseph, Rosie, and Flynn in Exeter. Thank you so much. Have you ever seen three bigger smiles? Your figures are there, your Bible is open, your questions are there, and you're happy about it. Joseph, Rosie and Flynn, that is very precious. We've now had a photo of each of our Flynns. I've understood that now. Well done. Josiah and Amy Ray, thank you very much. Look, I mean, you've got a whole city going on there. Well, you, I mean, you've just not got plastic figures. You've got a plastic world. Well done for doing it. Well done. Now, thank you for sending me that. Here, who have we got here? We have got the Morales family. Jasmine and Danny, I've been saying hello to you for so many days. It is thrilling to meet you, sort of meet you. You have got everything needed. Jasmine and Danny, I really appreciate you sending me this photo, even if your dad did tell you you had to do it against your will. Thanks so much. And here we have Noah and Jesse. Noah and Jesse, <laughs> look, you're, you, you, we've got smiles, we've got food, We've got dinosaurs and we've got absolute focus on the computer. Well done. Thank you very much for doing this. The wonderful tailors in Bristol. Now, welcome to the final week. Got your plastic figures ready. It's a big day today. You could argue it's the most important day in all of history. Should we pray then? Who's praying? Hands up. Have you chosen? Let's go. You pray. Amen. Amen. Very good. Now, let's see what happens. Now, oh goodness, why am I not there? Why am I not there? That has taken me by surprise. No. Oh, I see. I see the problem now. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Got that. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Here I am. Wow. <laughs> that, that hasn't happened before. I totally disappeared. Here I am, sorry, now back in the zone. Right, ready? There was a man from Cyrene coming from the fields to the city. The man was Simon, the father of Alexander and Rufus. So this is Simon of Cyrene. The soldiers forced Simon to carry the cross for Jesus. Now it's a bit big, so we're going to have to try to help Simon to carry this. Okay, here we are. Okay, right there. Perfect. Sort of carrying it. Okay, on his shoulder. There we are. Perfect. They led Jesus. They led Jesus. They led Jesus to the place called Golgotha. Golgotha means the place of the skull. It took Jesus all the way. Off they go. Back on they come. Here we are, right? So they're going to the place of the skull. At Golgotha, the soldiers tried to give Jesus wine to drink. This wine was mixed with myrrh. Do you remember myrrh from the three wise men? But he wouldn't drink it. He wouldn't drink it. He wanted to be able to concentrate. He wanted to be able to make great decisions. 
the soldiers nailed Jesus to a cross. The soldiers. Nailed Jesus The soldiers nailed Jesus Whoop, Which way do I go? There we go Nailed Jesus to a cross Then Let's just go down a bit so we can see them There we are Right Then they threw lots to decide which clothes each soldier would get. So the soldiers now threw dice, threw dice to work out who was going to get to keep Jesus's clothes. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they nailed Jesus to the cross. It was nine o'clock in the morning. There was a sign with the charge against Jesus written on it. The sign said, let me just put that in there. Right, there we go. The sign said, King of the Jews. I can't work out how they make you see that. That's quite difficult, isn't it? Okay, there, I've got it. They also, so they put King of the Jews on there because that is what they had accused Jesus of doing. That, in fact, is the only thing they could find that he had done wrong. They also put two robbers. Oh, this is going very wrong. I keep disappearing now as well. They put two. Oh, I might leave that there. Who's to say where they put it? They put two robbers on crosses besides Jesus. So I don't have three crosses, but I want you to imagine that they put one robber on a cross this side of Jesus and another robber on a cross this side of Jesus. They also put two robbers on crosses beside Jesus, one on the right and one on the left. People walked by and insulted Jesus. People walked by and insulted Jesus. They shook their heads saying, you said you could destroy the temple and build it again in three days. He didn't actually say he would destroy the temple. He was actually saying his body was the temple, the place where you can meet with God. And he would raise it in three days. He didn't understand. He shouted, so save yourself, come down from that cross. He could have saved himself. But he wasn't going to. Because he was busy saving us. The leading priests and teachers of the law. You know who I'm going to get out by now, don't you? Here they are. Where can I put them? I put them there. Oh, can you see them if I put them here? There we are. Put them there. The leading priests and the teachers of the law were also there. They made fun of Jesus just as the other people did. They said among themselves, Oh, he saved other people, but he can't save himself, can he? He did save other people. They got that part. If he really is the Christ, the King of Israel, then let him come down from the cross now. We'll see this and then we'll believe him. Did you hear what they said? If you really are God's King, then come down from the cross and we'll believe in you. What they don't know is he really is God's King. And he won't come down from the cross because he is saving other people. The robbers who were killed on the crosses beside Jesus also insulted him. Even those people 
who were dying with Jesus. Even they were rude about him when they could hardly breathe. No one understands what Jesus is doing. No one. Now tomorrow, we are going to look at the next passage. We're going to look at the next passage. Verses 33 to 36. Verses 33 to 36. Will you do what you've been doing now regularly? Which is, will you pray at the end of this? Will you thank Jesus that he stayed on the cross, even though it was hurting him so much? Will you share? Will you find some way of sharing with me or with others what you have been doing? Will you send me a photo? And then thirdly, will you prepare? Will you look at the next passage, just verses 33 to 36? Will you prepare it for tomorrow? And I'm going to give you the questions. So DIY Tuesday, you do it. You send me your photo. Now also, I want you to be sending me your names and addresses by email. OK, because we want to send you a memory of our time together. So if you would like us to send you that special gift, could you send us by email to info at faithinkids.org, your name and your addresses. Sorry, your names and your address. You only have one place you live, but there's more than one of you. We'd love to write your names on there. So tell us your names and your address and send it to info at faithinkids.org. As usual, I'm now going to leave you with your questions and I'll see you on Wednesday. Here you are. Threes to fives. What did the soldiers do to Jesus? Fives to sevens. Why do you think, what do you think hurt Jesus the most? Eights to elevens. What did the soldiers accidentally get right? What did they say or do that they got right? And it is hard to think about this actually happening. How do you feel as you watch it and why? Press pause. I'll be back on Wednesday. Bye bye.